What's up guys, Tyler Kirkwood here. Today is day 243 of my SR and things are going good. I wanted to make a video today about some of the downward spiral effects of PMO. So basically I've been thinking a lot lately like how when you're stuck in PMO and um, say for example you ejaculate, you experience euphoria for like five to, five to ten seconds, right? Something like that. But then the depression that comes after that is like so severe for me personally, it would last like from five to ten minutes to a couple hours to a couple days. So then, then you get stuck in this like downward spiral of wanting to ejaculate all the time. So you have that good feeling, and I just feel like once you're on SR and you like go on SR for a while and your mood kind of stabilizes and you're and you experience some happiness, these these mood changes and the, these like uplifting um, personality traits, I want to say they just stick with you for a while and you don't experience the depression. So like there's no reason to be caught in that negative spiral of the PMO trap. I just feel like it just doesn't make any sense to me, man. Like you get like, say like five to 10 seconds of pleasure or whatever. And then who knows how long you're going to be dealing with the depression. I mean, nobody really knows how long the depression is going to last, but it's going to last for a while and then you're going to want to do it again. So then it's going to get addictive and it's just going to turn into this huge downward spiral where you really just make no progress and you just waste the whole day doing nothing a PMO so it's like man it's such, such a strong motivating factor for me to keep going and I'm just glad I started because like the trade-off is insane I mean you lose so much you lose all the valuable nutrients and um, you just harm your body and your your mind so much and there's like no benefit whatsoever it seems obvious to me that like this should have been obvious a long time ago and I kind of wondered when I was a teenager whether it was okay to uh, to like masturbate or have sex very often and um, now I'm like, man, I was probably onto something back then. And I just didn't even realize it. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I think the trade-off is like, I mean, there's, there's like such a horrible trade-off for the for the few seconds of euphoria and bliss or whatever. You just go through pure hell and then, then you're right back to where you started. And it's like you haven't gained anything. All you've done is lost lost the uh, the stuff that you need to have a healthy body and to look attractive and to have confidence and to be able to communicate with people. So it's just such it's such a huge lose lose situation in my mind. Like it should be really obvious to people why you should do this and why it should be beneficial. And um, it still amazes me that there's so many people out there that think masturbation is healthy and it's okay and it's okay to do and stuff like that. And I just I completely disagree. I think it's horrible because you're losing the nutrients that you get from food. So you, I mean, you might as well just be throwing your food away without even eating it. You might as well just make yourself a meal not eat the meal and throw the meal away. I mean, that's pretty much what you're doing with, as far as masturbation and PMO goes. So that's pretty much something I just wanted to get off my chest today because it's, it's just baffling to me, like how, how people could rationalize these few seconds of whatever euphoria or pleasure or bliss or whatever with all the, all the chronic uh, side effects and the, you know, health consequences that you go through, like depression, anxiety, just a horrible, horrible list of negative emotions that you have to deal with. So Hopefully that motivates you guys to continue your streaks. Hopefully a lot of you guys that are, you know, getting uh, streaks, you know, only have a couple of weeks have been able to extend those out to get past the first 30 days. The first 30 days are by far the hardest. So once you get past that, I think it's smooth sailing from there. Again, I'm on uh, day 243 and I'm shooting for 730 days, which is two years, just so I can get through the post-acute withdrawal symptoms. So that's why I'm doing 730 days is my goal. Anyway, subscribe if you can and thanks for checking out my channel.